I think it's a good time for a little mock draft. Let's start at the top in Carolina. Yeah, razor thin, but we're going to go with Bryce Young, Laura, quarterback, University of Alabama. Time for a brand new mock draft, this time featuring a handful of blockbuster trades. So with that, let's dive right into it. Number 1. Carolina Panthers from Chicago Bears Bryce Young The Panthers are definitely taking a quarterback here. It's a coin flip between Bryce Young and CJ Stroud, but it just feels like Frank Reich will want to bet on the slightly more NFL-ready guy with higher upside. The future is now in Carolina. Number 2. Houston Texans CJ Stroud GM Nick Casario should take no more than five seconds to hand in his card to Roger Goodell. The Texans are taking whichever QB remains between Young and Stroud. Can't complain about either guy, really. Stroud will instantly provide a spark for a fan base that hasn't had a whole lot to celebrate over the past half decade. Houston, we no longer have a quarterback problem. Projected trade alert! Number 3. Las Vegas Raiders Will Levis The Raiders land the number 3 pick from the Arizona Cardinals in exchange for the number 7 and number 38 picks plus a 2024 third round pick. And with that selection, the Raiders are taking Kentucky's Will Levis. A win-win for Josh McDaniels here. He's got a steady option in Jimmy Garoppolo, so he doesn't have to rush Levis's development. One or two years of sitting behind Jimmy G will help prepare Levis for the grand stage. Projected trade alert! Number 4. Baltimore Ravens Anthony Richardson This time, we've got the Indianapolis Colts giving up the number 4 pick to the Ravens in exchange for Lamar Jackson, who is eyeing a way out of Baltimore. More draft pick compensation will likely be involved, but the number 4 pick is the centerpiece of the return. Baltimore then takes a chance on the supremely gifted and athletic Anthony Richardson, another dual threat sensation who could run an offense similar to the one Jackson has engineered. This right here is a win-win scenario for everybody. Number 5. Seattle Seahawks from Denver Broncos Will Anderson Jr. This would be a dream scenario for the Seahawks, getting arguably the best all-around prospect without having to trade up. Seattle hit home runs across the board in last year's draft, and they just brought back old friend Bobby Wagner. Throw in the explosive Alabama pass rusher, and the Hawks will have the makings for a top five defense. Anderson alone would drastically help Seattle close the gap with NFC heavyweights like the Philadelphia Eagles and San Francisco 49ers. Number 6. Detroit Lions from Los Angeles Rams Tyree Wilson Aiden Hutchinson was everything the Lions could have asked for last season. Now, let's add some more game-wrecking defensive linemen who would fit perfectly in the mold of Dan Campbell's scrappy, in-your-face defense. Wilson and Hutchinson would give Detroit the best defensive front in the NFC North. Number 7. Arizona Cardinals from Baltimore Ravens Jalen Carter and Carter was previously the consensus top-graded prospect in this class, but his arrest for reckless driving in a fatal car accident means that he'll likely fall. Nobody knows where exactly he'll go on the board, but the top three feels far-fetched at this point. Having traded down in this mock draft, the Cardinals take a chance on the Georgia defensive lineman, shoring up a gaping hole on that vulnerable front seven. Number 8. Atlanta Falcons Christian Gonzalez AJ Terrell is one of the top young quarterbacks in the game, and Atlanta just added safety Jesse Bates in free agency. GM Terry Fontenot could go anywhere with this pick, but he might find it tough to pass up on the Oregon cornerback. Terrell, Gonzalez, and Bates would round out a scary good nucleus on that defense. For once, the Falcons would actually be able to stop the pass. Number 9. Chicago Bears from Carolina Panthers Peter Skoronsky Trading down with Carolina worked out perfectly here for the Bears. Their pressing need is a franchise offensive tackle to protect Justin Fields, and Skoronsky is the best one available. Skoronsky would give the Bears their first true all-pro level offensive lineman since… uh… anyone know? Anybody? <laughs> Number 10. Philadelphia Eagles from New Orleans Saints Miles Murphy Brandon Graham and Fletcher Cox are nearing the end of their careers, and TJ Edwards was lost to Chicago in free agency. The Eagles need to inject some youth in their front seven, and the Clemson product, who recorded 13.5 sacks over his last two seasons, is NFL ready. Number 11. Tennessee Titans Paris Johnson Jr. The Titans released longtime mainstay offensive tackle Taylor Lewan, leaving a giant void in the trenches here. Perf Pro Football Reference, Johnson Jr. allowed just one quarterback hit in 925 pass-blocking snaps during his NCAA career. Ryan Tannehill and Derrick Henry would love this pick, don't you think? Number 12. Houston Texans from Cleveland Browns Jackson Smith and Jigba Wide receiver was a position of need even before Houston sent Brandon Cooks to Dallas. So now they 
really need a whiteout for their new franchise QB. And Ohio State's Smith and Jigbo would step in and make an immediate impact. If the Texans came away with Stroud, Casario should feel extra motivation to get his former Buckeyes teammate. This would be a dream scenario for Houston. Projected trade alert! Number 13. Green Bay Packers, Quinton Johnson. It's only a matter of time until the Packers send quarterback Aaron Rodgers to the New York Jets, and surely the number 13 pick of the draft will be the centerpiece of that trade package. So we're going to go ahead and assume that the Jets send off this pick, and much more to the Cheeseheads, who then select a playmaking receiver to help Jordan Love. Quinton Johnson, Christian Watson, and Romeo Dubs would be a dandy receiving trio for Love to start working with. Number 14, New England Patriots, Brian Branch. This just feels like a typical Bill Belichick pick. Getting a high IQ football player that played under Belichick's old friend Nick Saban at Alabama, Brands just checks off all the boxes. Not to mention the Patriots need a safety in the wake of Devin McCourty's retirement. Branch will be a star wherever he winds up. But the Patriots are the match made in heaven for him. Number 15, New York Jets, Broderick Jones. Injuries and concerns about his conditioning leads us to believe that the Jets are ready to move on from 2021st rounder Mackie Becton. This is their chance to find a replacement, and George's Broderick Jones would be a welcome addition for Brees Hall in 2023. Number 16, Washington Commanders, Michael Mayer. Ron Rivera is moving forward with Sam Howell as his starting quarterback. Fair enough. So let's add some more weaponry to complement Terry McLaurin and 2022 first rounder Jahan Dotson at receiver. The Notre Dame tight end is a red zone machine with 16 total touchdowns over his last two seasons. Number 17, Pittsburgh Steelers, Joey Porter Jr. The Steelers have three franchise building blocks on that defense in TJ Watt, Cameron Hayward, and Minka Fitzpatrick. All that's missing now is a bona fide star cornerback, and the son of ex-Steelers star linebacker Joey Porter can address that need. Porter Jr. and Fitzpatrick would be quite a terrifying tandem in that secondary. Exactly what the Steelers need to deal with Joe Burrow and Deshaun Watson in the AFC North. Number 18, Detroit Lions, Devin Witherspoon. The Lions still don't know what they have in the oft-injured Jeff Okuda, so it's probably best for GM Brad Holmes to dip his feet into the cornerback-heavy draft class here. Per PFF, Witherspoon allowed just a passer rating of 25.0 when targeted. The Lions are building something special in the trenches, but adding Witherspoon would take this defense to a whole new level. Number 19, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Darnell Wright. The Bucks released veteran Donovan Smith after a forgettable 2022 season, opening up another void on the O-line. GM Jason Light has always been about dominating the trenches, so we expect a lineman here one way or another. Wright, Ryan Jensen, and Tristan Wirfs would form a nice foundation on the O-line to help Tampa in the post-Tom Brady era. Projected trade alert! Number 20, Minnesota Vikings, Nolan Smith. In this projected trade, the Vikings acquire the number 20 selection from the Seahawks in exchange for the number 20 and number 87 picks. The Vikings, who were let down in the postseason by a defense that couldn't stop a nosebleed, need a do-it-all linebacker like Smith. New defensive coordinator Brian Flores has always valued the high IQ, ultra-athletic linebackers, and the Georgia product fits that bill. Number 21, Los Angeles Chargers, B. John Robinson. With Austin Eckler trying to find his way out of town, the Chargers will need to find a new running back. So why not go after the best running back prospect since Saquon Barkley? Justin Herbert is a beast and all, but adding a consistent 1,000-yard rushing threat would take this offense to a whole new level. Robinson probably deserves to go higher, but teams don't value running backs as much these days. Not that the Bolts would complain if he fell into their laps. Number 22, Indianapolis Colts, Anton Harrison. It's not just QB where the Colts need a reboot. They should think about rebuilding the offensive line that went from elite to embarrassing in one offseason. You can never put a price on protecting your young franchise quarterback. Number 23, Seattle Seahawks from Minnesota Vikings, Deontay Banks. The Seahawks have two young cornerstones at corner in Tariq Woolen and Kobe Bryant, both of whom were late round gems from last year's draft. There aren't many flaws remaining on Seattle's roster, so GM John Schneider can use the take the best player available mindset. In today's pass happy NFL, you can't have too many quality lockdown corners. Number 24, Jacksonville Jaguars, Lucas Van Ness. The Jaguars already have two stars on the front seven in Josh Allen and 2022 first overall pick Trayvon Walker. But why not keep adding to the mix? The Iowa defensive lineman who racked up 6.5 sacks in his final year of college would give Jacksonville another terrifying edge rusher to help deal with the plethora of elite young quarterbacks in the AFC. 
Number 25. New York Giants Zay Flowers Trading for Pro Bowl tight end Darren Waller was a nice start, but let's see the Giants add one more playmaking pass catcher to help Daniel Jones hit that next level. The Giants need more speed on offense, and Flowers, who averaged at least 13.8 yards per reception in each of his 14 years at Boston College, would provide plenty of that. Number 26. Dallas Cowboys Dalton Kincaid Dallas found that much-needed number two wideout by trading for Brandon Cooks. There's a void at tight end after losing Dalton Schultz to Houston in free agency, though. One more receiving threat for Dak Prescott doesn't hurt, and the Utah tight end would help take some of the pressure off of C.D. Lamb. Number 27, Buffalo Bills. Kalijah Cansey. The Bills will need some fresh juice on that aging front seven. Cansey, who had 14 total sacks over his last two seasons at Pittsburgh, is a run-stopping force and elite interior pass rusher who could single-handedly help Buffalo get over the postseason hump. Number 28, Cincinnati Bengals, Brian Breesey. Lou Anarumo has done wonders with a Cincy defense that isn't exactly loaded with all pro-level talent. Now imagine what he could do with a player like Clemson's Brian Breesey anchoring the interior defensive line. Breesey would shore up the Bengals' run D and help take some of the pressure off of Trey Hendrickson and DJ Reader. This is a guy who can help you win many, many big games against the likes of Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, and Justin Herbert. Number 29, New Orleans Saints from Denver, Osiris Torres. Ryan Ramschak and Trevor Penning have the Saints set at offensive tackle, but adding a guard like Torrance could make this already stout offensive line even scarier. And Torrance is an above-average pass blocker, but he especially excels in the run-blocking game. That'll work for a Saints backfield consisting of Alvin Kamara and the newly signed Jamal Williams. Number 30, Philadelphia Eagles, Cam Smith. The Eagles nearly lost both Darius Slay and James Bradbury in free agency. Fortunately for Philly fans, GM Howie Roseman worked his magic and brought back both. Smith may not see much playing time right away in Philly's loaded secondary, but this would be a long-term pick. Smith has the makings to be an elite shutdown corner and could benefit from learning behind Slay and Bradbury for a year before taking over as the new top corner in Philly. Number 31, Kansas City Chiefs, Drew Sanders. The Chiefs could do a lot of things here. I wouldn't be shocked if they traded up or down from this spot, but for now, I see them taking the best remaining defensive player available. Frank Clark is gone and the duo of Chris Jones and George Carl Laftis could use a little more support. Sanders, who transferred from Alabama to Arkansas for his final NCAA season, racked up 9.5 sacks, 3 forced fumbles, and 5 interceptions. Another playmaking player in the front 7 to help in Steve Spagnuolo's aggressive blitz-happy defense? Sign us up for that! But which 2023 NFL draft prospect do you want your team to select? Join us in the comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.